Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Loadout. Loadout is a brand new free-to-play game available on Steam. Where are you going? Don't turn off the, the camera. I don't know if, why you'd be watching this on your camera. That's pretty weird. Don't turn off the video though. Uh, this is one of the top three free-to-play games on Steam that I've ever played. It's this, Dota 2, and TF2. Uh, and, you know, there may be games that are better than those that I haven't played, but I don't necessarily think so. That's my way of saying I think Loadout is one of the very few free-to-play games on Steam that is worth your time, and I am having a glorious time with it so far, and I'm very surprisingly good time, because, I, you know, free-to-play games on Steam have kind of a reputation for not necessarily being that exciting, or that polished, or that well done. The, the stuff that Valve does accept it, but anyway, it's a third-person shooter, very fast-paced, action-paced, arena-based shooter. Kind of feels like a third-person Quake. Yeah, it feels like a third-person Quake, basically, or a third-person Unreal Tournament multiplayer. And the big focus of the game, which is why I'm here, is on weapon creation. So there's a staggering number of permutations. You know how in Borderlands they're like, whoa, you, technically there's like a million and a half different permutations of weapons that you can get. This is like that, except you actually have the opportunity to create your own. So this is my uh, gun. It's called the Moobots. Moo banner, and I'm using it as a rocket launcher, but we can customize it however we see fit using these currencies down here at the bottom. Plutonium being like the atom module or model that you can see there, and gold being the stuff that you actually pay real money for. The uh, plutonium is stuff that you earn as you play, kind of like experience. So, I could make uh, a rifle, a launcher, a pulse weapon, or a beam weapon. I already have a beam weapon. We're gonna stick with our launcher for now because I'm really bad at aiming. We could also change our stock, and you can see uh, down at the bottom Almost like Diablo style, how changing each one of these, well first off, how much it would cost, some of them are very expensive as you can see, and what it would change for us. So if we put an exhaust port as our stock, it would give us better stability and better hip accuracy. Uh, if we put a dampening stock on it, we'd get lower damage, lower rate of fire, and lower reload time. It's probably higher reload time, I guess, uh, but lower stability. I'm okay with our existing stock. We could also change our scope and maybe give it a later laser guidance system, which would uh, lower its damage, but we could actually kind of make the rockets home in a little bit. Uh, anyway, you can see that we can change all of this stuff. Uh, here, I also have, if I go back to uh, weapon crafting, I have look, let's look at your dead face. This is actually the second time I've recorded this video. I ran into some technical issues on my end last time. So this is the weapon that I created last time, which is totally different. It is a lightning-based beam weapon that you can use with a sniper scope. So it's kind of like a lightning-based sniper rifle, if that makes sense. It does lightning damage. We might not have enough money to create another weapon, but uh, maybe we'll give it a try anyway, just so you can see what's up with this. We'll get into the game in a second, but this weapon customization stuff, let's say try again, because also it kind of sounds like a taunt. Uh, the this weapon customization stuff is a huge aspect of what makes loadout loadout and what makes it unique. So I don't think it's wrong to start out just by taking a look at this. So let's just make a rifle uh, and we'll we'll change the barrel maybe. Let's give it a, um, maybe a scatter rifle. It would be like a shotgun kind of. Uh, let's give it a light assault rifle because that's actually cheap. Um, and we could change our bullet and we could actually make it like a healing rifle if we wanted to. Uh, so a rifle that would actually heal our enemies when we shot them. Or we could make it like a lightning gun. But I'm going to stick with the, the slugs that we're using right now for a magazine. Why don't we go with a high capacity magazine. So this will be like a, a machine gun style. How much is it going to cost? It's going to cost 920. We can do that. Uh, we'll fire it with a spooling mechanism. So it'll be like a mini gun. And uh, why don't we change our barrel to like a Gatling gun barrel then? Do we have enough? Oh, we don't have enough. That sucks. All right, we'll stick with light assault. Uh, and maybe we can put one of these on there. Cool. Let's save this. This is try again. We'll purchase it. We will earn about one gun's worth of in-game plutonium, uh, probably over the course of this video or over the course of like an hour of a, of a day. So let's get rid of my rocket launcher. We'll try to use my rifle instead. I'm going to be terrible with it, but that's fine. Uh, we'll put try again in our uh, primary slot here, and we'll use our beam weapon as well when we're at a distance. Okay, let's get started here. So the customization stuff is really cool. Uh, we're going to play some casual uh, because we're more likely to find a game, I think, quickly that way. This did just come out on Steam free to play today, so I'm expecting to find some good people uh, and uh, a good, healthy community. But when I was playing this before, it was technically free. There have been alpha codes uh, floating around for a long, long time. Uh, the last time I actually played this game, before it actually was in its launch window, was back in like April of 2013. The game's come a long way. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping to find a good community here, because there was a good community uh, even the day before the game came out. So, hopefully we do not have to wait for the actual five minutes here. But what's good is that uh, as we're waiting here, I'll, I'll try, if it takes five minutes, I'll put an annotation or something here that you can use to uh, skip the ahead to when we actually get started. But we can, as we queue here, uh, go into our... 
uh, loadout and we could change some stuff, you know, we could uh, customize our weapons if we wanted to. We can look at the stats for our existing weapons. Uh, and we could also, if we wanted to, d look at the store because this is what people are going to be concerned about. Whenever there's a free-to-play game, what do people want to know? People want to know uh, how much things are going to cost. Uh, so there are some expensive things in here. What I will say is that I've been playing this 100% free. What is often common practice is that developers of free-to-play games will send you uh, a ton of in-game currency so that you're not like, oh, well, I was able to buy all this stuff with blah, blah, blah. I've been playing it totally free. I don't like doing that anymore because I feel like it gives the wrong impression. A lot of the stuff seems a little cost prohibitive. Like, for example, buying one gun slot and, uh, or let's say buying three gun slots is 5,700 in-game gold. Uh, that will actually cost me, <clears throat> if I go to buy space bucks here, maybe like $8 would be where that fits into the price point here. So that's a little bit cost prohibitive, I think. Uh, that being said, you can have a totally fun time playing for free as well. Like, four loadouts will cost you here. 22,000 roughly if I go to get space bucks 22,000 is like like $23 or something like that. I'm not really willing to pay that for loadouts uh, Similarly avatars, you know the, the, the slick silver. I believe that would cost us like uh, $5 uh, a little bit less than $5. It'd be like $3 So that's not too too bad and I'd be more inclined to buy something like that. You can also buy taunts and and whatnot um, and, uh, you know, you can buy, uh, experience boosters and plutonium boosters as well. Experience, you know, you use that, that's used as a gate to kind of keep things, like different weapon types and different, uh, bullet types and different damage types locked. As you get more experience, you can unlock more of those. It's also used to lock things like loadout slots, so, you know, once you get to level 5, you get a second loadout slot. I only have one right now, but you can get past that by paying for it if you're interested. And, of course, plutonium is used to buy, you know, the raw materials that you use to customize your stuff. Uh, you can also uh, buy like starter packs that range from like nine dollars to twenty dollars or fifty dollars But uh, you know, I'm not necessarily into that stuff the, my mark when it comes to a uh, free-to-play game is Basically you can just take a look at the characters here uh, when it comes to a free-to-play game my, my mark of like um, How I'm enjoying it how I how I feel about the free-to-play stuff is basically can I have fun with it when it's not free? Like do I have to pay money to have fun and the answer to that question here is no and when I die, do I feel like I'm dying because the people who shot me paid money? And that doesn't feel like it's the case either. I feel like when I get killed, I am getting killed by people who are actually uh, better than me. So as we uh, kind of approach the three minute mark here of uh, waiting for this queue to mature, I am feeling a little bit disappointed by the fact that this has taken so long. I would expect that after the game is actually out, it would be faster to find a game, but I don't know, maybe servers are busy or something like that. Literally yesterday, it was like a two minute wait to get into a game. So what I will probably do is uh, just kind of say goodbye for now. And when we get into a game, I will start again. Holy crap, I actually got into a game. Let's just get this started. Uh, apparently their servers have been like super overloaded over the course of today, but I was lucky enough to get into one. I've heard people waiting as long as an hour. Uh, I got into one after about 20 minutes, so we're gonna continue with the video. I like went and had some coffee, talked to my girlfriend, and then I'm like, okay, I guess I'll check on the game. And finally, it has actually worked out. So that's a real problem, and hopefully that gets figured out, but I guess they didn't expect a uh, huge demand from going free to play on Steam, so, or, you know, maybe they just weren't prepared for the capacity of that. But now we get to talk about some of Loadout's, like, better strengths. Uh, and, and the reason why I think this is one of the best free to play games on Steam, uh, in spite of the fact that, yes, there have been some connection woes. Let's see if we can find somebody here. Um, just in the very basics, you can probably figure out for yourself what's going on here. Uh, but this is a, uh, an arena based shooter, basically, that's super fast paced. Oh, okay. I am using the. This, oh, I have a spooling gun, I just remembered, yeah. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good from long range. I am probably gonna get killed here. Okay, let's switch back to my lightning sniper rifle. Um, the, the mode that we're playing right now is basically like kill confirmed from Call of Duty. So essentially, uh, when you kill someone, they will drop plutonium. And then in order to get extra points, you have to pick up that plutonium. It's not your standard team deathmatch, but it's team deathmatch with a very slight twist to it. Oh, that's a pretty good weapon. Oh, don't get hit by the rockets. We'll be fine. We might not be fine now that I think about it. Oh, that is really bad. It's also uh, ultra violent, as you can see, uh, and a whole lot of fun, especially when you get into these really quick battles. Now, I'm pretty confident that not all guns are balanced and not all guns are created equal. Uh, the gun that I created for the purposes of this uh, episode seems to be really bad, but maybe uh, from close range, it's a little bit less uh, terrible. So I'm gonna try to get this. Oh, they already got his plutonium. Good. I'll at least try to hang back, and I'll, I'll be like uh, somebody who can help my team out by being a support or something. Uh, but let's see if we can get some kills here. What's so good about it? Uh, it's incredibly fast-paced, incredibly fun, and it's a game that's 
pretty accessible, but it does still feel like there's a high skill ceiling. You can have fun right away, and it doesn't feel like a game where you're you're making a compromise by playing it, if that makes sense. A lot of the free-to-play stuff on Steam, not oh god, not all the free-to-play stuff on Steam, but a lot of the free-to-play stuff on Steam uh, really does feel like, you know, I, I want to play something that's fun, but also I don't want to spend any money. This is not that fun, but it's also free. There we go. We can at least get those points there. Steal points for my teammate, basically. Um, this doesn't feel like that. This feels like a, a really, really fun and polished game that could cost, you know, $10 or $15, and people would be okay with paying for it. Since it's not $10 or $15, of course, it has the microtransaction stuff in it, and, you know, people are, are for that or against that. When I'm not scoped in, this weapon is, like, absolute dog shit. Oh, I want to change my loadout. Maybe before the next match. Oh, maybe I can, I can do it here if I can just, like, replace this. No, I can't. Okay, fine. We'll stick with what we've got. I'd be much better off with the rocket launcher, though. I can at least use my sniper rifling, sniper rifling, my sniper rifle uh, with the lightning damage here, and hook it up. But yeah, it, it doesn't feel like you're making a compromise. It feels like a fully featured game that just is free, which is awesome uh, because more people can get access to it. Uh, doesn't necessarily have the best free-to-play monetization model, but so be it. It's it's fine. It doesn't feel scummy. It doesn't feel pay-to-win. It does feel like a lot of the features are locked behind, uh, but still, that's uh, you know par for the course. They have to make money somehow. Uh, and unless you have like a, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm getting destroyed here. Unless you have like a 400,000 active player base uh, on a daily basis, you know, you're probably not going to make it just selling, uh, you know, cosmetic items. Okay, let's try to actually get some kills here. Our team is getting shit on, basically. I wish I'd gone with a scope that was a little bit, like, wider angled, because they're a little bit less zoomed in. Because as of right now... I am finding it pretty difficult to actually, uh, like, see and keep my weapon on enemies, but that's partly, again, because this is a super fast-paced game. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking for something like, uh, you know, a tactical shooter, this is not gonna be your game. Please, there's, there's health packs around here. Oh my god. I'm so disappointed that I waited 20 minutes with that weapon choice that I had only to get stuck in this game, where it turns out my weapon is, like, completely not to my liking. Not necessarily bad, but not to my liking. Uh, there are a variety of different game types as well. I'm not sure if, unfortunately, we'll have the opportunity to see all of them. At the very least, I can just spam grenades over here. Um, we may or may not have the opportunity to see all of them as a result of the uh, server bottleneck that they're encountering today, which hopefully gets sorted out by the time this video goes up. Um, but uh, there, there's also like a, a capture the flag type mode. What I really like about their capture the flag mode... Oh, you can do it! So close! Deny me, teammate! Uh, what I really like about the capture the flag mode is that when you have the flag, you're not... Oh, he managed to get it. Um, you're not, uh, invul- or you're not, uh, super vulnerable because the flag, it, it's not a ranged weapon, but it's like a big fucking hammer, and, uh, when you left click, it is a one-shot KO if you actually manage to, to hit the enemy with it. Oh, you should be dead. You should be so dead a thousand times over, and I'm so disappointed, but I think I actually got a kill with my grenade there, because I'm the luckiest man in the world. You can actually, as you saw right there, if you look closely anyway, you can destroy rockets, uh, in midair and other projectiles, so if someone's shooting, like, a, a pulse weapon at you that shoots, like, you know, explosives or mines or something like that. You can you can still uh, explode those in midair and maybe use that as a counter. Oh, I'm being flanked here. Let's switch back to our uh, starting weapon and see if I can actually make something happen here. Obviously, uh, on the radar, I'm taking a quick look to see if there's anybody around that I want to get into trouble with. It's fun getting into trouble. That's what I've always heard. Everyone is using like lightning weapons from what I've seen. Oh, we're so close. I should have just punched him and we'd be okay. Um, but yeah, so there's another capture the flag mode where the, the, the flag gives you a one-hit KO. There's like a, you know, occupy the control points type mode, which is cool as well. I prefer the general deathmatch mode because I'm still pretty bad at the game. Um, like, I prefer this mode, I should say, because I'm still pretty bad at the game. And this gives me the best opportunity to, like, not worry about objectives too much and just focus on the carnage. I also, you're not really seeing it on this map uh, because the lighting's... Oh, I did break the uh, rocket again there. Um, every time you hear that sound, by the way, oh, I landed right on the grenade and so did my teammate. Every time you see that sound, by the way, that's an indicator that I've actually hit somebody. I like that there's hit indicators as well. Those, oh, I respawned and threw that, uh, unfortunately. But I like that there's hit indicators as well, so I can always be like, you know, there's no question whether or not I, uh, I hit someone. It's always very, very clear. That being said, I really need to get my rocket launcher for the next match, or I'm gonna find myself in a terrible position, assuming I even get the opportunity to go into another match given the way the servers are handling things right now. Okay, let's switch back to the rifle, you can do it! The melee attack does a lot of damage too! Oh, I killed him with the melee attack! And then I denied myself, that's what I'm gonna say. That's the narrative I'm gonna subscribe to. I pushed him off the edge. Yeah, I'm doing pretty badly here. Uh, my team is probably thinking that I let, I'm letting them down, and that is, to a certain extent, true, but... I, I liked playing this pre-release because the community was a little bit smaller, and I think... 
uh, I had a little bit better of a chance. I still did pretty poorly in some of those games, but uh, at least I got one more kill here, so I have that doubled my kill death ratio basically. Come on, you want to poke your head out just a little bit. Grenades are super powerful as well. Um, there we go. Oh, one's coming for me. Luckily, too far away for it to actually do damage. I like beam weapons because I feel like with beam weapons I can actually be pretty bad and still be okay. Oh, probably shouldn't have run right out into that rocket, but my teammate also got hit by it. Please just kill that man. He's so close to death. This game, uh, the one thing I will say, I'm not sure if it's a negative or a, you know, just a thing, but the games do run pretty long and it can be frustrating if you're getting steamrolled like we are right now to spend, you know, 14, 15 minutes in a game knowing that, you know, from the start, you're basically, not from the start, but from like a few minutes in, you're basically done. I would have preferred if maybe it moved a little bit faster, and it is true that um, the worse you do, and the better the enemy team does, the sooner the game will be over. That being said, I wish it was over even sooner than they often are. Why am I firing a beam weapon with a burst on it? Oh god, just hide out. Yep, yeah, uh, that was not gonna work out very well for me. This Erector guy is extraordinarily good. He's 11 and 4. I've seen people with better stats than that, but still. Uh, and the, my other woes about loadout, th this is a game that I can basically, due to the fact that it's free uh, and good and not that scummy with this microtransaction model, uh, I can fully recommend in good faith. I, I think you're going to have a really good time if you play this game. There are negatives, though. Where? How does this guy know he's map hacking? Uh, there are uh, there are some negatives. The negatives are server woes. Uh, this matchmaking bottleneck is hopefully a one-time you know issue related to them launching on Steam like eight hours ago. Um... But also, I've had a lot of, at least pre-release, I had a lot of issues with, like, I would finish a game. Seriously, Erector, go fuck yourself. Um, but uh, I would uh, finish a game, and then it would be like, you've been disconnected from the server, and then I'd have to quit and reload the game and try it all over again. Ooh, are we playing? Thank God this match is goddamn over, because that was a, a shellacking. Largely due to my own inadequacy, but still. So yeah, you can taunt. There's some vulgar taunts. The, the graphical effects are really nice. You notice that guy's missing a leg. That's not an avatar thing. Oh, maybe it is an avatar thing because the other guy's missing a leg. But, like, you'll have limbs get blown off you as you're playing. And then as you get healed, they will come back. What I should really do is just get, like, a beam weapon that's a healer. Uh, so I can do something with my, uh... With my lack of skill, at least I could heal my teammates, and maybe smarter men than myself, or better men than myself, could actually figure it out. But hopefully we get into another game of loadout here, otherwise this is going to be a real short video, but I know they have been having server issues. Uh, so, you know, that, that's my main caveat, is that I do spend a lot of my time in loadout, as you can see right here. Uh, I spend a lot of my time in loadout, not actually playing loadout, if that makes sense. Well, you can see it, for half of this video I was not actually in game. The other half I was in game, having a fun time, but getting my ass kicked, but... Given the server woes that they're having today, this is like, um, you know, it's a it's a positive video. I very much like Loadout. I, I still think that it is one of the top three uh, free-to-play games on Steam, but it, it's going through some uh, some launch day troubles here. Unfortunately, this is a, this is an honest look at uh, how the game's going right now. You saw that I, I got booted. I can rejoin the game, and if I click that, I should be able to get back into the game right away. But I can't weapon craft. Like, if, because I've lost connection to the central server, and this happens all the fucking time, I can't actually change my weapons or my loadouts, and I really, really want to do that right now. You can also, there's a, many things I didn't talk about because I got distracted by the server issues, but you can loot your enemies, so if someone has a gun that you think is way overpowered, you can actually pick it up if you manage to kill them. Uh, other game modes, competitive game modes, you gain experience, you gain plutonium at the end of every match. We didn't gain very much at all because of what we're going through, and I think you actually don't gain any if you get disconnected from the central server. Server is full. Your place in the queue, three. Well, unfortunately, uh, I don't really have time for that, and I think this is, again, a, a brash and honest look at the server woes they're going through right now. In spite of that, oh, I guess I moved up in the queue. I, I moved backwards in line. I don't like that very much. Um, but uh, when you can get it to actually work, it's a really good game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and I would uh, I would encourage you to check it out. Maybe give it a little time to get the growing pains out. But I could definitely see people having a lot of fun with Loadout. I can see it becoming uh, something that we play now and then on the NLSS. And uh, I hope that you can look past the kind of like the spots and blemishes and, uh, you know, see what's going on here. Which is actually quite good. It's a good game. A very fully featured free-to-play game. Uh, just some technical woes hold it back from being truly stellar, at least on camera right now. But when you're playing it for yourself, it's unabashed fun. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the episode. There will be a link to download Loadout, which is free on Steam in the video description below. And of course, uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button. It helps a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more first impressions like this in the future. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.